The next question I'm going to ask you guys is, what is a crime? Like killing someone. Okay. <laughs> uh, s selling unregistered uh, sunflowers in the Netherlands. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. My favorite pastime. Doing something that's against the law. Yes. So that's very specific. That's the general definition of what a, uh, of what a crime is according to um, the society we live in today, right? A crime is something when is, is something that violates a law that was passed, right? So then my next question is, um, so, so for example, he said, he said when you kill someone, right? So she said when you're texting and driving. So when you're te basically uh, what he's saying is when you're harming somebody in some way, right? That's what Victor said. So Mimi said, when you're texting and driving, are you harming somebody when you're texting and driving? No. So then how can that be a crime? Yes, because you could end up hurting someone. So I could. So you're, saying, so you're saying in the future, if I hurt somebody in the future, right? Right? Is that? Okay. Okay. So there's a, there's a movie, I don't know if you guys have seen it or have you heard about it, called Minority Report. Um, no? Have you guys seen it? Okay. So in this movie, um, it's a futuristic movie, and there's technology where these special people, they can see the future, and they can see people that are going to commit a crime, and they call it pre-crime. Yeah. And then they go, and then they arrest people and imprison them before they actually committed the crime, because they said, you're going to commit the crime. So what do you think about that? Well, is this one of those universes where things can be altered or not? Well, it doesn't matter. We'll forget about that for now. I'm just saying, going to arrest someone because you know in the future they're going to commit a crime, what do you think about that? I don't know about the well, workings of time in this universe. Though. The thing is, is that it might not like hurt someone in the moment, but if you do it again, it could hurt someone. What, so for example? It's kind of like teaching a lesson. Uh -huh. Like if you're texting and driving, you're not, it's not going to just be a one-time thing. You're probably going to do it multiple times. Mm -hmm. So stopping you once could stop you in the future where it could actually hurt someone. Mm. Okay, but what I'm saying is that, um, you know, saying someone is a criminal for texting and driving when they haven't hurt someone yet is basically like saying you're already saying that they're guilty of a crime that they haven't committed yet most because they haven't hurt anybody yet, though. right? What? Like, most people don't go around like, oh, you should text and drive, you criminal, but uh, like... No, but it's still against the law. Yeah. It, it, like, like if, 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 a, if a police officer sees that you're texting and driving, what are they going to do? They're going to give you a ticket. They're going to give you a ticket, right? And if you don't, if you don't pay your ticket, what happens? You go to jail. You go to jail. Or, so, yeah, that's what I was so, for. yeah. So, it's considered a crime just like any crime that you actually hurt someone. Now, my question is, is that a true crime? That's my question. No, no. Okay, but so now, yes. so, huh? But yes. How? Because it's still breaking a law. It's breaking a law. So okay, okay, so now, so now let me.